Madison, good girl. Oh, hi. Oh, Lexi hasn't got one. Lex. Hey, dirty guys. Greedy. Well, then they'll all be gone, won't they? Look. Pot's empty. It's been something that we're aware is, is you know, potentially going to happen. Um, you know, we're aware that lemur species in the wild are in decline. Um, sadly, on the island of Madagascar, you know, there are a lot of threats to these animals. So um, slash and burn agriculture, deforestation and hunting of the, the primates for their fur and also for the bushmeat um, is something that, you know, is always going to mean bad news for, for these animals out there in the wild. There's around 104 to 107 different species known out there in Madagascar. Uh, there probably are species that we're unaware of out there still. As I, as I mentioned, it's a very big island and hard to access majority of it. So there could well be a number of species that we don't even know are there. Possibly species that have gone extinct already that we didn't even know about in the first place. Um, the ring-tailed lemur is one of the most popular just because of its personality. As you can see jumping around me today, they are a very confident lemur. A lot of them where they eat um, all the fruit that they do, they then obviously pass out the, uh, the pips and the seeds in their dung. And of course that then just main, means more development for, for the natural environment. And of course a lot of the, uh, the fresh air that comes from the Amazon and, and big rainforests and things is, is something that us worldwide all depend on. And without those rainforests, you know, worldwide we would all experience a massive problem with air quality. And that all comes from animals that live in rainforests. What it's showing us is that species are moving towards extinction. So the number of species actually going extinct is not that high, but every year a few more get added to the extinction list. Uh, many, many more get added to the possibly extinct list, but more and more species are moving from being very common, widespread, least concern as we classify them as, into one of the threatened categories where they have a high to very high to extremely high risk of going extinct in the wild unless we do something about that. And that's what's really a bit major concern. It just helps underline the fact that we are moving into a sixth extinction era.
there are reports saying that uh, the number of poaching incidents has is increased and because uh, food is not so readily available hunting has increased and so yeah the the different stories in different parts of the world around the impacts of, of the COVID uh, incidents. But I think the key uh, message for everybody from this whole incident is that we need to be need to, need to take a hard, long, hard look at ourselves and, and this is our opportunity to really transform society.